Now, our first book today is gonna be <gasps> 10,000 Dresses. And this story is by Marcus Ewart. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Every night, Bailey dreamed about dresses. <gasps> That's a pretty good thing to dream about. I mean, that's great. <laughs> a long staircase led to a red valentine castle. On each stair was a brand new dress just waiting to be tried on. 10,000 dresses in all and each one different. <gasps> first dress was made of crystals. When Bailey slipped the dress on, the crystals clinked against each other like millions of tiny bells. And when sunlight hit the dress just right, <gasps> rainbows jumped out. With all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All really, really super great because, oh my gosh, it's shiny. We've established it for, okay. When Bailey woke up, she went to find Mother. <gasps> bargain coupons, bargain coupons, bargain coupons. <gasps> mother was in the kitchen cutting out coupons. <laughs> Mom, I dreamt about a dress, said Bailey. Uh-huh, said her mother. A dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if you would buy me a dress like that. Bailey, what are you talking about? You're a boy. Boys don't wear dresses. But I don't feel like a boy, Bailey said. Well, you are one, Bailey, and that's that. Now go away and don't mention dresses again. <gasps> Bailey went to her room. Now she would never have a dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. <gasps> oh, but maybe she'll be able to take a coupon back to her room. I'm just look on the positive side. I'm just so <gasps> that night, Bailey walked right past the crystal dress and went to the second stair. There was a dress made of lilies and roses. When she slipped it on, she saw that the sleeves were made of honeysuckles. <gasps> Bailey picked a few of the blossoms to taste the little drops of honey. Oh my gosh, look at them. <laughs> with all her heart, Bailey loved a dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. <gasps> Thank goodness, that seems like a really good get up, okay? <laughs> so we car couture. <laughs> Bailey woke up and went to find father. Oh, this is pretty tall grass, okay? He was in the backyard pulling up weeds. Seems pretty sensible sometimes with weed, you know. Dad, I dreamt about a dress, Bailey said. Uh-huh said her father, a dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if you could grow me a dress like that. Bailey, what are you talking about? You're a boy. Boys don't wear dresses. But I don't feel like a boy, she said. Well, you are one, Bailey, and that's that. Now go away and don't mention dresses again. <gasps> Bailey went to her room. Now she would never have a dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. <sighs> I know I'm pretty sad about it. I know Barry's pretty sad about it. Listen, okay. <laughs> that night, Bailey walked right past the crystal dress and the dress made of lilies and roses and went to the third stair. <gasps> there was a dress made of windows. <gasps> One window showed the Great Wall of China and another, the pyramids. <gasps> With all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of windows, which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. 
seems like a pretty involved garment, if you ask me. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Bailey woke up and went to find her brother. <laughs> Again, tall grass. Okay. He was playing soccer with some kids. I dreamt about a dress, she told him. A dress made of windows which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. You dream about dresses, Bailey? That's gross. You're a boy. But, Bailey said, but nothing. Get out of here before I kick you. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Bailey ran and ran. She ran all the way to the end of the block until she came to a house with a big blue porch. An older girl was sitting there with needles and thread and old sheets. What are you doing, Bailey asked. Making dresses, said the big girl, but it's really hard. Mine all come out looking the same. Maybe I can help, said Bailey. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's always a pretty good thing to do is like help people, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Bailey told Laurel, the big girl, about the dress made of windows, which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. That's awesome, said Laurel, but how do we make a dress out of windows? We'll use old mirrors instead, said Bailey. Oh, that's so exciting. <gasps> Together, the girls made two dresses which were covered in mirrors of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> Pretty involved. Be careful if you're trying that at home. <laughs> These dresses don't show us the Great Wall of China or the pyramids, said Laurel. No, said Bailey, but they do show us ourselves. <gasps> you're the coolest girl I've ever met, Bailey, said Laurel. Hey, do you think you can dream up any more dresses? Bailey grinned. I think I can dream up 10 Thousand. Oh, that is so many more than 20. Okay, 20 is a lot. All right. Oh my gosh. The end. Oh my goodness. Again, sparklers. This is 10,000 Dresses. Story by Marcus Ewart. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. It's so great. I want to think of a lot of dresses I could have. Oh my God. <laughs>